Hello, my name is Jim Winkler and I serve as President and General Secretary of the National Council of Churches. Over the past year, 500,000 Americans have died due to the COVID-19 pandemic and a great many of us have experienced personal loss of family and friends and loved ones. This is a time for us to pause for words of prayer and comfort. And we've invited a number of people from our member communions to offer those to you at this time. I sincerely hope this is the last major milestone we'll need to mark. And I want you to know that we are praying for you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before you on this day to give a memorial to the 500,000 lives that have been lost to the coronavirus. We pray for the families that are grieving the loss of mothers and fathers, grandfathers and grandmothers, aunts and uncles, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, and friends. We ask, O oh God, that you would send healing power to this land and throughout the earth, that this virus may not have the victory but that we will always look to you as our source and our strength. May we seek your face, may we honor your name, and may we love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. Let's settle into worship in the manner of friends, Quakers. This is a period of stillness and silence where we can be together in that space where words and our prayers come from before they're formed. We'll center our hearts in this space for a full minute. Thank you, friends. God of all that lives and breathes, what words work now that over 500,000 Americans have died from a single virus? Do we call this grief, trauma, despair? Can we speak to you of anger and pain and emptiness as this virus steals the breath from so many? Every word fails. So listen then not to our words, but our tears, our trembles, our tossing and turning through another sleepless night, our sighs too deep for words. Quiet the rage embodied in our shivers of grief, our spasms of anguish, and our shudders of fear. End this nightmare, this scourge, this deathly infestation, and abide with us through our season of mourning. Let us pray. Loving God, gracious and kind, ever present, we need you now as millions among us suffer with COVID-19 all over the world, throughout every branch of our family tree, of each nation and every faith or no faith at all. God, comfort us, heal us, Make your face to shine upon us. Give us the wisdom, courage, and strength 
to do our part to care for one another and keep one another safe. Lift those who suffer from the fear of death, from beds of discomfort, to the new light of day, to the joy of simple pleasures, good work, and holy communion in the one human family to which we all belong. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. With cruel isolation and outrageous speed, COVID-19 has become the nation's third leading killer. The accelerating vaccine campaign offers a glimmer and a ray of hope. But for the families of nearly half a million dead, there is no medicine, no vaccine, or inoculation for the pain that the bereaved suffer because of the loss of their loved ones. They are the ones left behind. A different future and an uncertain one awaits those who are bereaved. Therefore, it is only fitting and appropriate to pause and remember those suffering around the world, specifically those around the world house, those who suffer from the lasting vestiges of colonialism and capitalism. May their hearts be encouraged by the firm declaration of the psalmist who declared that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Lord, in your mercy. God, we thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. We thank you for our essential workers and our first responders. We thank you for the firefighters, the police officers, the health care providers, the health care administration, the sanitation workers, the custodial and janitors. We thank you for those who are the secretaries and receptionists in our medical facilities, in our hospitals, in the offices of our health care providers. We thank you, God, for the grocery store workers and the sanitation workers and the restaurant workers who have provided our food and who have allowed us to continue a semblance of our normal lives. God, we thank you for those who have put their lives and their families' lives on the front line by caring for us in the midst of this pandemic, a pandemic not only of disease, but of uh, disheartening uh, stress. God, we thank you for uh, those who have continued to sacrifice their lives, even though there are injustices of this world and have looked beyond that to care for us. We thank you, God, for those who have been separated from their families and in order to protect their families have separated themselves and caused themselves to not want to be at home because they're afraid of bringing home the virus to their families. God, we thank you for their sacrifice. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you have created for us in terms of allowing us to have enough science to know what to do in order to help those who help us. So God, we ask that you continue to give us the strength and the power to endure, continue to give us the strength and the power to decrease these uh, incidences that you give us the strength and the power to know what to do and when to do it so that we may not tax those who have sacrificed any more than they have already been taxed. God, we ask that you continue to protect them. We know that many have sacrificed their lives. And so God, we ask for their families that you continue to show us how we can help them. Show us what we can do to impact their lives and say thank you for their sacrifice. For essential workers, for frontline workers, God, we're asking that you continue to protect them. Give them the mental, the physical, and the spiritual stamina to continue this fight. 
We thank you for all that you do, all that you say, and all that you are in our lives. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God of power, God of promise, and God of provision. We come now, God, lifting up before you those who were already feeling the weight and the violence of poverty, which has now been exasperated by this pandemic. We pray, God, for those who have lost income due to jobs ending and businesses closing and, God, providers dying due to the, this disease and leaving families and households struggling, hungry, and figuring out how to make it to the next day. God, we know that you have given us more than enough. And we know, God, that there have been so many already struggling in this land and in this world. And so, God, we pray that during this time, as we are looking for leadership and as we are seeking direction and imagination, that we would do all that we can to make sure no one goes hungry. All have a place to rest and everyone has access to their daily needs. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. O oh, creator of life. You created the space interweaving it with the time, then you call it life. And once you breathe a breath of love into our lives, yet we cry out for your love from the corners of lifeless streets in this nation. We cry for your breath of life in this wilderness. We have lost so many loved ones by COVID-19, and we are heartless. Bias and prejudice blind nations in this pandemic, and we are fearful. The call for justice, caring, unity, and hope become the unanswered echo in this desert, and we are desperate. Oh, our Redeemer, we cry out for your presence. We lift our eyes to see you. Strengthen our heart with your hope. Renew us through your word and restore your creation through your caring spirit so that we live together once again as a community of your love. Amen. Name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, source of all healing and unity, you sent your Holy Spirit upon the disciples, uniting the world into a community of faith. Your Son, Jesus Christ, promised when two or three are gathered together in his name, so will he be present. Your church has suffered the consequences of the pandemic. Many communities have been challenged in their stewardship, worship, and ministries. Now, as we are slowly fighting your victory over this virus, we ask you to guide us in the full restoration of our faith communities. Give courage to those who were afraid to worship in person to join once again in person. Enable all to restore their stewardship and support of the ministries of their local churches. Allow each community to share in the honored name of the community that presides in love where we are gathered to celebrate the life-creating mysteries you have given us for the knowledge of you in this world and for life everlasting. Give wisdom to the leaders of your church to allow the lessons and changes in all our lives that have been given to us during this time of the pandemic to bring the renewal, renewal that is needed for each local community. As you have promised, and so we affirm, with God all things are possible, allow us to do the possible that you have called us to in each local community gather in your name amen let us pray awesome god who alone is worthy of all praise we come boldly to your throne of grace to find help and mercy in america's time of need with nearly 500,000 dead and over 27 million afflicted with coronavirus, we cry out for your 
never ending mercy, your boundless love and your divine healing. With more Americans dead from COVID-19 in one year than from many wars fought, we lament for all those devastated, especially communities of color disproportionately impacted. God of all comfort, we ask you to wrap your loving arms around all those afflicted by loss, overwhelmed by anxiety and overcome by isolation, especially impoverished children trapped in long-term inadequate virtual education. We thank you, O righteous God, for exposing racial discrimination in the distribution of vaccines, even as communities of color move from hesitancy to acceptance of the vaccine now in short supply. We praise you, O God, for health professionals on the front line and for the scientists, including scientists of color, who contributed to the creation of life-saving vaccines and for the role of the faith community as trusted vaccine distribution sources. Our faith is in you, O oh merciful God, as the supply to our every need, our light in the darkness, and our way out of no way. In your matchless and mighty name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. We have good news in the midst of the pandemic. Two new vaccines that are safe are now being distributed to the public. There are now new direct treatments against COVID. We prayed for this in our distress. So when you become eligible to receive this vaccine in your area, please take it as soon as possible. I've taken the vaccine and you should too. Taking this vaccine will protect you, your family and our community. If you have already received this vaccine, it is still necessary to maintain the same best practices that we've been observing, wear a face mask, continue to wash hands and maintain appropriate safe distances. Let us come together in love and take all the precautions and together overcome this pandemic. And let us, like the psalmist, thank our Lord for his faithful love and wondrous works. Friends, no one would have expected just over a year ago when we first heard about the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, that we would be living out the worst case scenario with more than 500,000 deaths. It has been a tough season of grief, lament, and mourning, but we are not alone. Our faith reminds us that God is with us and will never leave us nor forsake us regardless of what we go through. We also have each other. We hope this time of prayer has blessed and encouraged you. We also hope you will join us as we continue to pray for one another by posting your own prayer in the comment section or using your own social media platforms. Tag NCC and use the hashtag, a time to mourn. That's hashtag, a time, the number two, mourn. We will be able to get through this trying time together. Until then, let us continue to lift one another in prayer, knowing that God hears our cries and will answer. Now unto God, who is able to comfort us when we mourn, keep us through our grief and give us peace when our very foundations are shaken. To the one who heals us when we're brokenhearted, carries us when we're lamenting, strengthens us through our losses, restores our joy and emboldens us to hope again and again. May God cover us and keep us, establish us and fortify us, both now in our hour of great need and in the days to come. To God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be majesty and glory, power and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen.